My name is Vladimir Westbrook. Today we are going to be talking about Nuevo in Santa Clara, specifically about e-towns. So what are e-towns? They are townhomes ranging in size uh, between 1800 and almost 2300 square feet. They will be three to four stories depending on uh, the floor plan and some of them will have the roof terrace. E-towns will start at 1.6 million. So there is 114 e-towns all together in the community and they are highlighted here in orange. So as you can see there are some on this side and they are separated by parks so there are some more on this side as well. So let's check out the actual floor plans and renderings. So this is the rendering of what the e-towns are going to look like. I have to note that it's still not final, it's subject to change, but at least it gives you an idea of what to expect. So let's start with our E-Town Plan 1. So this plan will have three bedrooms, uh, three full bathrooms, one half bathroom, and it will be approximately 1800 square feet. So this is our entry. Pretty simple, we just have some storage and a two-car garage here. Unlike estates in the same community, it does not have a carport. On the second floor, when we go up, there is a half bath in the corner. And there we have a kitchen with open area to the living room. I wanted to highlight that I previously mentioned that it's common right now for the buyers to want the sink to be on the kitchen island so that they could look inside of the living area when cooking or doing the dishes. So it looks like we have a five burner cooked up here and pantry. Decent amount of storage in these cabinets. Going up, there is a forced air unit here uh, optional uppers. So what are the uppers? They are the cabinets that are optional to be installed on the higher level. There is a stackable washer and dryer on the same level with the bedrooms, so that's convenient. And then bedroom 2 has their access to the bathroom and obviously the master bedroom has the uh, master bathroom with walk-in closet. So sometimes people prefer the walk-in closet to be separate from the master bathroom. Here you would have to go through the bathroom in order to get there. So not a deal breaker, but just wanted to highlight that for you. And we have two sinks here and one sink here. So this is the smallest uh, plan among E-Towns. It's pretty convenient. And then also this plan has the access to the rooftop and a third bathroom here with a full bathroom. There is an optional fireplace which I would recommend for you to get if you plan to entertain. It's great for both entertaining and uh, future resale value. Now we can move along to the plan 2 for the E-Towns. Now this one will have uh, three bedrooms, actually all of the E-Towns will have three bedrooms. Uh, three full bathrooms and one half bath with the size of approximately 1900 square feet. This one is actually my favorite in terms of convenience. So similar to plan one we have our storage and a two car garage. Here we have a balcony, uh, same cooktop. Uh, this sink here is on the island. So that's as I was mentioning before. So here you can look inside of the living area. We have an open uh, floor plan here as well. And uh, the study, for those who like to read or work at home, this should be a perfect place. The access to the powder room. And we also have the pantry, just like in plan one. And then going up, uh, we have our side-by-side -side laundry. The plan one had the stackable ones. 
and then we have all three bedrooms upstairs. So note that both bedrooms have the access to the bathroom in the middle. There are two sinks here. That makes it really convenient. And note that the bedrooms are in different corners of the floor plan. That gives a lot of privacy because there are no, uh, no common walls between the bedrooms. Here we do have the access to the walk-in closet again through the master bathroom. And note that the toilet here is separate from the rest of the bathroom. While here it's with the bath. It's, uh, it became common to prefer the toilet to be separate from the rest of the bathroom, especially sinks and toothbrushes because the bacteria may spread. So just wanted to highlight that as well. And there is no access to the rooftop for this plan. So I also expect that it would be uh, on the lower end of pricing. Let's see. Now for the uh, plan three among the E-towns, once again, three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and two half bathroom. This plan is the largest one in the community among the E-towns, and it will be ranging from 2,236 square feet to 2,259 square feet approximately. Now you can see here in the highlight that some of the units will have different layout on the first floor. There will be a half bathroom downstairs for these units. Same thing with storage as the previous plans. And we have a coat closet here. Going upstairs, the powder room here in the, the corner, we see that the sink is looking inside and on the first two plans, the plan was open in a line, while here we have our great room and dining room uh, spread in different locations. So that's a little different. It appears that there is a four burner here. All of this can be subject to change or options, so that can change as well. Note that the optional built-in seating I would really recommend getting those if you go for this plan because it's easier to install it through the builder and it does help for the future resale value. Uh, it has the wow effect when uh, the buyers are come to, to see the place. And once again we have pantry just like uh, previous two plans. And uh, the difference is that on the second level we have our bedroom, the guest bedroom, with the full bathroom. I don't really get this part, to be honest. Looks like a little bit of uh, wasted square footage, but wanted to highlight that for you. And then here, we see that the bedrooms, they have common walls between them, so there's less privacy. Have the access to the master bathrooms, two sinks. Note that the walk-in closet here is separate. So all of the plans, they have their pros and cons. This is the largest plan, and although the bedrooms are going in a row, there is really not much you could have done differently. Here, the second bathroom on this floor also has two sinks and has one access. The laundry here is side by side, just like in a plan two. And then plan three also has the roof terrace with optional fireplace. Note that there is also half bath here. And that's pretty much it for the E-Towns at Nuevo. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. Feel free to give me a call if you would like a free consultation about how to get on the priority list for Nuevo. My number is 408-780-8099. Thank you so much for watching.